What is culturally committed? We are a place where health providers can come to deepen their knowledge around the subject of cultural safety and humility, where we can have open, honest discussions with elders and mentors and learn about what culturally safe care looks and feels like to Indigenous peoples. I know for me, because I'm, I've only really had, um, or really started getting a better understanding of the culture in the communities on the island in the past seven years. And I remember first hearing the word potlatch. I had no idea what that meant. Would you mm -hmm. be comfortable sharing a little bit about what a potlatch is? So a potlatch is ceremonies that we do and um, they're important ceremonies where, like I said earlier, we do namings, uh, we do uh, weddings and we do um, memorials and, and funerals that way. Um, we basically have each family has a box of treasure and we are uplifting our family and sharing and showing our box of treasure but also um, at the end of it we hand out many gifts and that's those gifts are actually payment for what you witnessed so it, it's showing in a good way this is what we're showing you and now you witness it and, and here's your payment wow. and um, very exciting because we're in the mix of doing a potlatch in 2022 wow <laughs> it was supposed to be september 20 2020 um but of course with this craziness going on we had to cancel it and extend it so Aww. we're hoping 2022 what everything will will go along so so a lot of uh traditions in our um who are patriarchs of the family who our chief is is he's transferring that chieftainship to the next generation so wow. a lot of tradition that way is being done and um it's also telling our our uh, our story you know our time memorial where we come from what we do and who we are as a people and it's amazing how the people the people are our, our family pulled together to create such an event and when we do hand out the gifts usually there's about three to five hundred people in the big house wow. so we have to gather that much to to hand out that's amazing so we're showing our dances we're showing our songs we're showing who our chief is and who are our how much our um very um high up person that we're we're uplifting mm -hmm. and and showing the people in our area who they are. Um, yeah. That's amazing. We're so the, very, in this area, we're very, I was always taught to be very humble and it's hard to explain all of this. And um, I was taught not to brag. <laughs> <laughs> so I really am having a little bit of a hard time with this <laughs> and explaining all of it. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, you're great. Uh, I must create quite a conflict because on one hand, a potlatch, it sounds like it's a real celebration and like a showing of pride in who you are and your, yeah. you know, and celebrating each other. But then you also have to do it in a way that's very humble. It's like kind of a conflict, hey? It is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's very cool. If you are a health provider who wants to deepen your understanding around the subject of cultural safety and humility, and you have questions or if you are an Indigenous person who would like to contribute knowledge and guidance to the conversation, please reach out to info at culturallycommitted.com.